Thank you very much. So today we're going to talk about container probes and how they can have negative effects on slow starting computer, uh, containers. So, but first of all, what is a probe? A probe is a diagnostic performed periodically during the lifetime of a container. Today, we have two kinds of probes, liveness and readiness. The readiness probe is the most used one. It allows for rolling updates for your deployments. The liveness probe is also useful because it can perform a restart after a deadlock. Let's focus on the liveness probe because this is the one that has the most effect on slow starting containers. So here you can see the default parameters for a probe. Initial delay seconds is the amount of time before probing is activated. Failure threshold is how many consecutive failures will be considered before acting. And period seconds is how often to perform the probe. So here we have a normal container. As you can see, the liveness probe is executed and fails once. And after the container is up, it succeeds every period seconds. Now let's take a slow starting container. It has an application that has a long initialization at first start. And then the restarts are much faster. So you can see it fails three times. And then the container is restarted in a loop because we are not giving enough time for the application to finish the initialization. So how should we tune the liveness probe? Well, first strategy would be to delay the probe execution. We set initial delay seconds long enough for the application to finish the data initialization. Then on restart, as you can see, it starts much faster, but the probe is still disabled for the rest of the initial delay. We have no feedback on the container status. Is it still starting? Has it started? Or even worse, if the container crashes during this period, we have no way of knowing and no way of acting. So we have to wait until the end of the initial delay and three probe failures before it gets restarted. So second strategy, we could allow probe failures during the startup. So we set a failure threshold high enough to allow for the initialization phase. So as you can see, the liveness probe is executed and fails a number of times. And finally, it succeeds once the container has started. So it works. On restart, it's the same, except that the container starts, starts much faster. And as you can see, we have the, the feedback loop. We know exactly when it has started. But there is another issue. If we have a deadlock at any time, well, we have to wait for all those failures before we restart the container. So we have lost our ability to respond quickly to the deadlock. So as you can see, none of these strategies really work. Number one and three, they, they work well when the container starts rapidly. And the second one has a fundamental uh, problem because it mixes the alive and the started state. So what can we do? So finally, after months of discussions and iteration with the community, we came up with an, the idea of a third probe called the startup probe. So by keeping the same API, you can define and check the end of a container startup phase. So until this probe succeeds, all the other probes are disabled. So this is the subject of the CAP 950, sponsored by SIG Node, and it should be available in the next release of Kubernetes. Now, I have a bit of time to speak about my company. So we are the best online bank in Switzerland. We are a grown-up startup that became a unicorn recently. We are passionate about our customers. And we love all those new technologies, especially Kubernetes and cloud-native solutions. And uh, of course, we are always looking for talents. So please join us. <laughs> Thank you.